This morning, Seattle bracing for more chaos. A federal agents out of sight on standby. Violent clashes between Seattle police and protesters lighting up the night sky. Over the weekend, 59 officers injured and 47 people arrested. Police declaring a riot due to the damage. This peaceful protest turning into a tense standoff. An uprising in solidarity with neighboring Portland. What is going on? We need to know who are you? Where protesters have been clashing with federal officers sent by the Trump administration to put an end to the violence. Terrifying scenes like these now a nightly occurrence. Court orders sought by the state's attorney general to stop federal agents from arresting people during protests denied. In response to the decision, President Trump tweeting in part, the protesters are actually anarchists who hate our country. Something officials say is true for a small group of people. A group of military veterans backing the protesters over the weekend, joining the so-called Wall of Moms, demonstrating at the federal courthouse in Portland. Shows of support for the protesters in Portland now stretching across the country. In Los Angeles, hundreds of demonstrators clashing with officers in front of the federal courthouse. In Louisville, opposing armed militia groups faced off at a demonstration. Three people wounded when someone in their group's gun accidentally discharged. We want to make sure there's way too many people here. We just want to help make sure it stays peaceful. For in Austin, a protester at a demonstration in the state's capital killed. The man, 28-year-old Garrett Foster, who was armed with a rifle, shot by someone in a vehicle who had driven through the crowd. The gunshots heard in this video. We saw Garrett lying on the road in a fetal position with, um, with a pool of blood next to him. Federal agents in Kansas City and Chicago. The president vowing to send more to other cities facing unrest, including Albuquerque, New Mexico, and possibly New York, Philadelphia, Detroit, and Baltimore. Here in Seattle, the mayor, the police chief, and the governor all opposed the president's plan to send more federal agents to Seattle. They were worried that it would inflame tensions. Now that that appears to be what's happening, the question becomes how to de-escalate, not only here, but also in Portland.